William, I could use your help. Could you come over here for a second? I found some interesting leads. This parchment described um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes. Everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for a closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of that ye should members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Uh, it's quite critical. Gabriel, we can go now. <coughs> ah, I love doing the water. Oh, here we go, back at Wolfenstein. Apparently I gotta find some moldy books right now. And I seriously wanna talk to Jay, right? But, uh, we'll do that later. Keep the door to the archives, you know, like, lock that. I think maybe Wyatt has a key. Thanks, Jay. Suddenly the war was lost. Everything good in the world died. Somehow I was the one supposed to pick up the pieces, keep the resistance going, take on the whole gosh darn Nazi empire. You think I was ready for that kind of responsibility? My ignorance got so many good people. You remember Private Prendergast? You know, that guy, he could survive anything. So tough. Well, I got him killed. Sent him out on a mission and he never came back. He just didn't know any better. Wing Commander Fergus Reed, he wouldn't know. He could have saved so many. I made the wrong choice. You made a stupid choice! Yes, you did! You left the boy in charge of a man's work. I should have died on that day, Captain, on that slab, and Fergus Reed should have lived. I'm not a child anymore, Captain. I know I'm mistaken. There. Leave me alone now, you hear? Damn. <clears throat> well, uh, I guess now I should probably like explain why I chose Wyatt over Ferguson. And to be completely honest, like Ferguson, he was obviously the much better soldier, and he was like obviously much more fit for war, and well. Wyatt back then, he he was obviously greener than grass on a early July morning, but it's just that the reason why I chose to kill Ferguson was because Ferguson, uh, well, Fergus, I don't know why I'm calling him Ferguson, but Fergus, um, he was ready to die. Like, he knew that he was going to die, he, and he knew that, that at least to him, his life wasn't worth more than any other person who was actually lying in the trenches dead. But, um, so I simply chose him because he was more prepared to die. I mean, like, now, although it is 14 years later, I mean, Wyatt, Wyatt is a great soldier, but obviously just being chosen over him... 
this obviously took a, a much greater piece of him than I thought it would. Anyway. Mole spores coming from the vent. Where is the intake? Hmm. That little. Hold up. Oh, never mind. I, th I thought that, that was a uh, metal soldier. Have you looked for the concrete sample? Oh, I do have have to get mold. <coughs> Forced. Mr. Big Cheese, apparently. So it tells me that I'll be walking by some Nazi stuff pretty soon. Yeah, there it is. I wonder. Can I cut this? No. This oh, there he goes. Always keep it short. Oh snap! <laughs> Sweet. Man, they gotta find all those vocals. <coughs> I'm only being something back here. Yeah, what? What is this? Oh snap! <laughs> it's full auto now. Hmm. A bit of a cut down on power though, but eh, I can live with that. Thought that was like a rat hole or something. Yes, I got the double bail back. Oh, that is why.
I don't think they like me being down here. What's from the other side? <coughs> Damn, nice truck of owls. There we go. The fuck? Welcome back, Captain Blaskovic. Howdy, cowboy. <laughs> what the damn hell are you doing? Science project. Are you scaring Max? Sorry, pal. Didn't know he'd flip out like that. Son? No. Though, well, kind of. I don't know. So not a son. Used to be Klaus had a son. Born during the war. A miracle, he called it. They had tried for years to have a child. Him and his wife. Well, he'd make a pretty good father. For a Nazi. The child was born with a club of foot. Klaus knew, of course, what that meant. He begged the doctors not to report it to the authorities. Then secret police showed up to take the boy away. Klaus and his wife tried to stop them. The wife died from a bullet to the head. The child, too. Klaus could not protect him. So he blames himself. I think so. And he will never forgive the Nazis. Maybe check on Max. See if he's okay. Why is that? Last time. Well, I oh. found you. Perhaps there's more toys around here somewhere. If I'm gonna apologize to Max, I might as well do it right, right? There it goes. Another toy on the run. Let's see what we make this time. 
probably just another arm upgrade, huh? Yep, just more armor. Okay, so I need to find what is that? A telephone and a square? Toys? Oh, hey, there's a telephone. Hey, toy. All I had was a pie going in a box of matches. Okay, well, mine's still, still walking out. Oh snap. You belong to Max. I'll get you home. There we go. You know, my family says that I should start lifting weights, but I've never liked that. You know? I've just been using like body weight uh, exercises. Anyway, let's go find Max. Try to apologize to him. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, this should be good. I need to back to slow eyes anyway. That's enough for now. Hmm. I wonder what Ferguson would have said if I had actually uh, saved him instead. Out. I'll probably post all of the uh, differences in scenes between Saving Wide and Ferguson. Forgus. I keep, I keep on saying Ferguson. Um, between Wide and Forgus, because I do want to play through this again, but save Forgus instead. Alright, let's go talk to Anya. Thank you, William. Give me some time to analyze this. Something. Find what you were looking for in the archives? Yep. Got something. Uber concrete. The essential building material of the Reich. It's based on the Dodd issue technology. It's almost perfect, but it's deteriorating through time, developing mold. Someone is tempering with a mix. Someone who knows its secrets. I analyzed it and found a trace of this type of limestone that exists only in northern Croatia. Now, look at this. The name Set Roth. It appears three times in Dot E shoot documents. According to official records, he's been detained in 1941 in Wuj and sent off to a forced labor camp in Benice in northern Croatia. Now, this is where things get interesting. The labor camp excavates limestone from the quarry. The manufacture of the concrete. I believe this is the place where we'll find Seth Roth, a living member of Dodd Egypt. 
problem is, there are so many unknowns. This is an old man, chances are he's dead already. We can't assault a site of this magnitude and hope to locate him before the whole damn Nazi army arrives. What is the plan? Someone needs to go in there and find him. Go undercover. <laughs> Any volunteers? 